Hey guys, so this is going to be a little bit of a different video. It's very echoing here right now because we are remodeling a library room, library book, sitting room, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be the room that all of my books are going to be in moving forward and I am so excited. So I figured I would take you along for the journey. All right, so you can kind of see behind me, um, this is a very empty room. I'll flip the camera around here in a minute, but you will remember what this room looked like before. I'm gonna insert some footage of what it looked like before. Um, we decided to move our piano out. And so we no longer have the piano in here, which was taking up a lot of space. And I decided to get new bookshelves. So we got the Billy bookshelves from Ikea. It took a long time before they were finally in stock, um, but we finally got them. So the day that I saw they were in stock, I'm like, uh, yes, please. So we scheduled, I think it's called click and collect or something like that. Basically it's curbside pickup. We did that, we drove over that night and got them and then started the process of really revamping this room um, because I didn't wanna get started until we had the bookshelves. So we are actually going to be recarpeting, repainting, redoing everything in here. So the first step was getting everything out. So we got the piano out, we got all of the old bookshelves out, took everything out of the room and this is what we were left with. All right, so this is the room that we're gonna be doing. Like I said, we're getting new carpet because this is just disgusting and we have tried um, washing it and everything multiple times so um, and we're repainting so this is the room we're gonna be doing so I'm going to be painting today um, and yeah it's gonna be fun carpet gets installed in a few days I'll show you guys that as well um, but there will probably be kids running in and out who knows I just thought it'd be fun to kind of show you the process of redoing this room so let's go All right, painting is done. So it, you can't really tell with this lamp. Hold on, let me turn this off. There, you can tell a little bit better now. It is a like a gray color. Um, so yeah, I really like it. It's clean, it's empty. You can't really see anything right now, but next comes carpet. Okay, carpet is in, yay! I'm so excited. So this is the carpet. Um, we moved the couch back in here. It's not gonna stay here. We're actually gonna get new furniture for this room, but we put it back in here for now because we needed it out of the other areas of the house. But today is bookshelf day. 
So I am going to be constructing bookshelves today. I got four of the Billy bookcases from Ikea with the extension on top. So this should be fun, but let's get to work. All right, so all the bookshelves are up. Yay, I love them. Whole wall of bookshelves to fill. So this is what I'm starting with, and this is what we're gonna be working on. And um, it's gonna take a while, so let's get started.
All right, so here is the finished product. Um, I'll kind of show you guys what we got going on. I have my favorite um, puffin, I think, chalk edition classics up at the top. And then here are my puffin classics that I have been collecting that I get off of Book Outlet that I love. Um, these are all my classics that I own, nonfiction. These are all Christmas related books. These are all my husband's books, including the mentioned Lord of the Rings box set that's still in the shrink wrap. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my anti-TBR tag. Um, all right, and then up here we have some copies of Little Men and Little Women that my mom gave me. Hold on a second, buddy. Um, my Harry Potter shelf. I have some YA um, series here, and then all the rest of my YA books. Down here are some Shel Silverstein poetry collection. Um, up here we have some really old books. We have um, some 1940s Hardy Boys books um, that were my father-in-law's, I believe. And then some other vintage books that we got. Here is my mom's um, old copy of Alice in Wonderland that's vintage. And then these are my favorites. It's a picture of my grandma holding me and my cousin. But um, these are my favorites. These are my unread adult, but well, not all of them are unread. I take that back. But these are my adult books that I'm keeping or, and some unread um, here. I have more up in um, my room where I film. I have that whole bookshelf that I may end up moving down here. I don't know if this shelf is going to stay here or not. This is my vintage Dr. Seuss collection. Um, so I don't know. I may move that to a different location. But for now, that's where that's at. And then going up here, we have my copy of Anna Green Gables series. Um, I have my Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe vintage set and some old Hardy Boys books back there that were my husband's. These are all of my um, Newberry winners and Newberry honor books. And then this is all, well, I take that back. Here are some um, graphic novels right here. And then the rest of this is all middle grade so it's just kind of all mixed in i have some like of my older ones right over here um beverly cleary babysitter's club betsy tacy rolled doll um little house on the prairie that sort of thing um but then i just kind of put them all up there they're not really in any rhyme or reason but my big books are down on the bottom there so i have some taller books so that is what we have so far um, if you are interested in me doing a full-on bookshelf tour and going through what I have in each of the categories, let me know. I can either do it all as one joint collective big bookshelf tour or I can break it into shelves if you want. And then, um, yeah, so that is what I ended up with. And here's the rest of the room. We are planning on getting a different couch in here. We want to get a couch with a chase lounge to put here. But, um, so we still have a couple of things to update in the room, but this is where I am going to sign off and call this project complete. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you stick around and subscribe and until next time, see ya.